I know what you're thinking when you're Looks seeing like this gameplay that this generators. is a kids game. Portals? Why are yep. you hyping They're this up? Well, this is, in fact, From a game seen, rated E10+, and, and it's published by Outright right Games, who is known but for the publishing online, these licensed kid games. They do the My Friend Where Peppa Pig, what is they do some the Transformers portal? stuff, I I they did the Bluey but game, I and I didn't think it would be that good either, but once I got further into this game, the developer, PHL Collective, Clearly had fun making this Let's and cared see. about making a fun Victor, Justice League game and had a bigger budget. One of the things the that jumped out at me, this is fully voice acted. Usually with these licensed Star kid games, it's limited Why would he to just important travel? bits or the we games themselves are just like mini game collections or just very linear 4 to 5 hour, hour games. The, one of the main one. villains, no, Mixies, voiceover actor, most likely sounds familiar if you're a fan of Aqua Teen Hunger Force or Chowder because it's Dana Snyder who voices Master Shake in Gaspacho. All I can think about is that voice whenever I heard it. Justice League Cosmic Chaos, in my eyes, is an ARPG, but I use that descriptor lightly. The camera is somewhat isometric, there's dungeons, skill trees, you have your basic attack, range, you have a special and an ultimate. You upgrade the stats, and there's equipment that grants you buffs or silly modifications like squeaky feet, or when I had equipped with Wonder Woman, it leaves a rainbow behind them when they're moving, or there's one that I have on Superman which is gives you the speed force that, that lets you run a little, bit, a little bit faster. And in this game, Mixie comes to Happy Harbor to steal the mayor job from Snapper Carr, a former league member. Mixie also brings Starro along and chaos ensues, capturing Green Lantern, Aquaman, and The Flash. It's up to Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman with the help of Cyborg to save the day. In ARPG fashion, Happy Harbor is an overworld that's put into areas that are level gated but the gates are open since you can go anywhere you want. You'll just be having a tough time and the game is structured in a way where Looks there's like nothing really to do there to that is worth it portals? to get on yep. to that level. To get around this, this overworld, each one of our heroes has a traversal action. Diana has the lasso jump. Bats has the grapple hook and glide. And good old Kal-El has the flight, which is I use the most and it's pretty fun to use. And you can also drive the Batmobile, Wonder Woman's motorcycle, and a Superman helicopter. You can also unlock fast travel points. You can activate after you go in and clear out those dungeons. You're probably all wondering how the combat is in this. To start off, there's multiple difficulty levels, so you can make it harder or easier depending on what you want to do. I left it on normal, but once I got to, after the end of the game, I turned it on to story mode just because I needed to grind out some levels and it was easier that way. Obviously, this is a kid's game, so don't expect some deep combat systems. It's very simplistic. You have your basic attack, a charge attack, a grapple, and a branch attack that's on a cooldown. Same with the special attacks and the ultimates. To get your ultimate back, you just have to do more damage and you can get it easily done. The powers are super fun to use. Superman has his heat vision that has a, like a sweeping attack that goes upward. Bruce has the batarangs, a bat drone, and literal bats that he throws out that can do some serious damage. Diana has her lasso of truth, flaming arrows, and a throwable shield. Which, that shield, once I upgraded it, it became one of my favorite attacks. The game wants you to switch between each hero while the other is on the cooldown. Those throw builds to worry about, but you can add elemental damage like poison, earth, and frost to deal more damage th to them. And later on in the enemies, get like shields, more elemental stuff, and when you beat the mini bosses, 
those mini bosses become regular enemies. So there's a variety of enemies, and like the puffer fish blow up, and you can po can poison you. There's a lot of different enemies in here. Each character has some different tasks they can change for free once you unlock them. Wonder Woman has a stun attack. Batman has an explosive batarang. Soups has a flying punch. You can also call on some help with a support hero. You start off with Cyborg, but once you progress through the story and save the rest of the league, they become available. I just kept with Cyborg. Throughout the story, you can unlock three super weapons that deal heavy damage, but also need to be held. So if you get hit or need to interact with something in the environment or leave an area, you need to drop it. When progressing through the story, you come across some side missions, which include Clayface, Blue Snowman, Bizarro, Lobo, and others. I was shocked how good the characterization of the Justice League is in this. They're actually caring for the villains instead of just like beating them up, saying they're wrong, and just throwing them in jail. Uh, you actually care for Clayface and especially Bizarro, the way they did this here. The Justice League is played somewhat semi-seriously. They all crack some jokes here and there. Superman is a joyful dummy and is in love with Lois Lane, but I like it. All three do some puns or corny one-liners or some jokes that are in here or there, especially with the loading screens with Mixie. It's all... Serious, but also lighthearted. There's nothing really like dark and brooding. But Batman's still that brooding type, but he still has like that light side that Diana and Kal El bring to the table. They all care for each other and care about doing good. It's clear the writers of this game clearly cared about doing the Justice League right. Since this is a superhero game, we can't forget about the different costumes. With the help of Booster Gold, we can get some. Around Happy Harbor, or in chests you find in the dungeons, or in the overworld, you find comic books that are the currency for the new drip. There's costumes from specific issue. The the Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy game was the gold standard for crediting writers and artists. Cosmic Chaos doesn't do this, but at least it has the cover of the issue, the title, and the issue number. And for some reason, each time I closed the game, the costumes would What's be set back game? to default. Another bug I had was I would get stuck in vehicles and I had to close the game because I couldn't leave the vehicle. This game doesn't oversay its welcome. My runtime was around 20 hours, getting all the achievements, doing all the side quests, which are all fairly straightforward, which will require some grinding at the end of the game. Because at the end, once you've done everything, you'll be around level 27. Maybe a little bit under, depending on how many en enemies you fight. But there's an easy way to do this. You can go back to Ares' realm and repeat his challenges to face many high-level enemies. And it should take around like an hour to 30 minutes to get your levels you need to get to level 30. And some of the achievement names are fun references. Like, there's one for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater with Goldfinger's song Superman and surprisingly Panic at the Disco. Now when I picked this game up I was like oh it's just going to be one of those licensed kid games where it's not really much of a game okay, but really right here it's a 20 hour RPG so, which is pretty great Wow! because usually I just like recently played a kids game you where you it's You're me. Kind of like nothing, you're playing nothing, the but there's Poised you're actually doing stuff in the game, but it's no substance whatsoever, so props to PHL Collective and our games for this one. Hopefully, for that to happen, right? <clears throat> these devs right? can make another so superhero game, maybe more Justice League, and it's really great. And Everybody does great voice acting, there's like was animated cutscenes. No more football which, for like life. before boss battles and all that. It's really fun. Uh, I hope you guys check it out. Uh, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll That's see all. you in the next one.